Okay, members and friends, this is like an X Club rant. Uh, I don't know, I think it's number six. <laughs> I haven't been in here for a while, it's been all winter. I've had the homeless people come in here, and obviously it's, you know, leaking. My landlord's not helping me to fucking fix it. I don't know what to think. I think a lot of this stuff this, this spring, I'm just going to take it apart. And some of this stuff, I don't know, I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I got wiped out on that shelf, as you can see. It's gone. Whatever was in there, they took it. Um, doesn't look like they took everything. They left me with some stuff in here. But, uh... Yeah. I can't cope with this shit anymore. Like, you know, this is kind of like what's going on with my grandson. You know? I, mean, I have video of this looking pretty nice. Everything just molding up in here. Raining. The light is on. If it wasn't raining, it wouldn't matter if it was damp or not. Um, it still wouldn't mold. Well, it looks like they left everything in here. Seems to be okay. No mold. Right? So this is alright. I don't know. There's other stuff in there. Crafts for the kids. Right? But this is water craft. Just whole nine yards of all this crap on the ground. Like, I can't, can't, I can't stand this ground anymore. It's not worth it. It's just like these social workers coming into my life and disrupting my grandson's, you know, growth. And, you know, they just want to sabotage, right? Looks like everything in here is okay. Some of this stuff, I'm either going to give it away, I think, or try and use it this spring, summer with the kids. All right, there's a little more in there. Or I'm just going to give it to a charity. I don't know what charity I'm going to give it to. I mean, look at this. This is garbage. This is being chucked out. Spring cleanup is coming, so all this is gone. There's my horses in the bag there. I don't know where I'm going to put them because if I put stuff in the garage, the homeless people just go in there and pick through everything. You know, rip my bags open, get into my boxes. And, uh, and there's all this rain. You know, it's just rain, rain, rain for another day. Right. Uh, so there's my... My ex club rent. <laughs> There's my porch. Right? There's my 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 roof. I don't know. My landlord, like I said, and in some ways they're good and, and then in other ways they just don't care, right? It's just a rental. You know? well, what am I supposed to do? How the hell am I supposed to go up there and fix that? I don't know how to fix that. I really don't. <laughs> so I'll be doing this this week. Next week. I don't know. We'll clean this up one more time. But anytime it starts raining, this is what happens. Everything just starts to get ruined. So, like you can see the box here, right? It's no good. What's inside is still okay. It's not going to be washed, but the box itself is no good. You know, I've bagged up things, as you can see. You know, I bagged them up one time. Remember, they got all... Here, hold on. We'll move back. Got all wet, aired them out, dried them out, and then I bagged them up. So far, they... They, these are survived. I guess homeless people aren't interested too much in games. But, you know, whatever was on that shelf is gone. And, uh, so, so much for the X-Club rent. And, uh, in correlation to my grandson, well, this is kind of what social workers are doing to my family and my life and my little grandson, right? Just coming along with their garbage. You know, their rain, their pissy rain. You know, gotta rain on everybody's parade. You know, destroy lives. Okay, members and friends, so uh, after I get off the computer here with you, I'm going to, uh, I'm sorry, the video, right, I'm going to go and sit down in front of my computer and write to the judge, because I guess what we got on Thursday is a protection hearing of some kind. I don't know. I don't know how much is told in these things, but this is just a fraction of what I'm going to be typing. I mean, obviously, when I type it out, it will be, you know, maybe just a page or two. It will be just a page or two, right? And then, you know, I did some other stuff here, some research. Right, that, to draw on. So I will incorporate that into that. Um, 
as you can see, we went to the X Club there. And, you know, spring is coming now, right? <laughs> After the winds are gone and the rain is gone, right? And I'm just going to, I think, dismantle the whole thing and work on giving a lot of that stuff away this spring and summer. Whether I give it to another charity that works with children or whether I actually go out in the community and do something with the kids myself or maybe I'll do a little bit of both depending because I got stuff in the garage, I got stuff downstairs, I got stuff over there. You know, I've been working on my nonprofit for a long time. Something that these social workers don't seem to appreciate uh, and care about. And um, the way my uh, my little ex club out there look like is what they've basically done to my life and my grandson's life and my children's life you know they pretty much trashed it and um you know they don't care about youth programs and you know they don't care about um you know kids being happy and productive and you know producing positive things and learning and having fun um obviously because you can see the state of the X Club and we know that you know I've been trying to work on that for a long time and I don't get a lot of community support for, for different reasons and I'm definitely not getting any support from the Ministry of Children and Family Development and again you know what you've seen out there is what they've basically done to our life and Andre's life and they've um, you know put him in this position where he's got Stockholm syndrome now where you know he learns to love his captors and because they definitely kidnapped him and um you know he's forgetting us he's definitely you know he's not crying when last time his auntie left and he you know went no problem with the uh, caregiver and uh, because he has no choice but to love them you know they severed his ties from his family they isolated him into a room all by himself in the middle of winter time so he was cold they underdressed him when they were transporting him around in their covered you know dark vehicle as they were bringing him in once in a blue moon for his scheduled visits with his family members so they were successful in you know mixing up his brain confusing him frightening him you know putting deep fear into him isolating him you know making him feel depressed and lonely and scared and it worked because now he's bonding with them and we have to go to court on the 21st while you know uh, trying to explain um, why he needs to come home and it's frightening it's frightening because you know it's been three months already and um, we just don't know who to trust anymore because we sure in a hell can't trust social workers that have a conflict of interest trying to save their asses at the last minute while they continue to maltreat my grandson so anyway um, the X Club is a representation the way it is right now at this moment in disarray because of the elements that are out and about um, and the neglect that comes with people that just take things for granted and don't care about kids is a representation of what the Ministry of Children and Family Development is in Surrey, B.C., British Columbia, Canada. Okay, so came out here and started washing. So yeah, all this will be dismantled. Somebody came in here and stole one of the drums. I guess I'll be donating that to somebody. Um, there's another one, a bigger one that got stolen. I don't know. Again, people doing what... Unless, of course, maybe it's in there. It could be in there. Maybe I covered it up. But, uh... I think it's time to maybe just take this all down and forget about it, right? You know, focus on other things. You know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to focus on. I don't know, but I'm getting really tired. I'm getting really tired of working on this nonprofit with, you know, trashy people trashing my life all the time. <laughs>